What will you do when a SHTF event unfolds and unprepared people start to loot and maraud to survive? Those who have taken the necessary precautions should already be equipped with extensive food stores, water, essential supplies, fuel, and systems for off-grid power generation. Moreover, having self-defense measures, including firearms, is essential to protect both your resources and your loved ones. In such times, there are specific items that become particularly attractive to looters looking for easy targets. Here are the eight items you must hide immediately from looters. 1. Solar Panels Solar panels are real game changers, especially when the grid takes a dive. But here's the catch. They're not exactly inconspicuous. With their size and placement, they can be like neon signs for looters after a disaster. People see those panels, and they immediately think, hey, there's someone with supplies. Now, if you're considering solar panels for those just-in-case days, thinking about placement can save you a lot of headaches. Ideally, you'd want to set them up in a spot that's off the beaten path, away from prying eyes. Think secluded bug-out locations or structures hidden from main roads. That way, you keep your essential power source, but without turning it into a beacon for trouble. Plus, Creatively concealing them can make a big difference. Whether it's integrating them into your building design in less obvious ways, or using natural cover, like trees or camouflaged frames, there are plenty of strategies to keep your solar setup discreet yet effective. Remember, the goal is to maintain your energy independence without advertising your preparedness to everyone passing by. 2. Precious Metals In a real SHTF situation, cash might seem like a safe bet at first. But over time, it's likely to lose its sparkle as practical currency. That's where precious metals step in. Gold and silver aren't just shiny objects. They become crucial players in the barter system. Gold and silver are perennial favorites because they're durable, universally valued, and compact enough to store and transport easily. Plus, unlike cash, they won't lose intrinsic value when the economy is unstable. But here's a hot tip. While these metals are a hot commodity for trading, they're also pretty attractive to looters. The good news? They're relatively easy to hide. Many folks who invest in precious metals already tuck them away in safe spots. Think hidden safes, discreet locations in their homes, or even buried in their backyard. Creative hiding places are key, and it's a smart move to keep your stash location on the down low, known only to trusted individuals in your circle. When it comes to using precious metals as barter, it's all about understanding their worth and being savvy about when and how to trade. Small denominations are a smart play. You wouldn't want to hand over a one-ounce gold coin for a few supplies when smaller silver coins could do the job without losing out on change. Also, educate yourself on the current values and ensure you're not on the losing end of a deal. Keep a keen eye on market trends even now, so you're ready if you need to pivot to a metal-based economy. 3. Generators in a world where the grid's down and chaos reigns, having a generator can feel like holding a golden ticket. It means power when the rest of the world is dark. But here's the rub. That humming engine isn't just a beacon of hope. It's also a magnet for trouble. Generators, by their very nature, are hard to hide. They're bulky, they often sit outside, and they make enough noise to announce their presence to anyone with an earshot. That's why securing them is crucial. First off, Let's talk about keeping your generator from becoming a target. Yes, metal fencing might stop opportunistic thieves, but if you really want to keep it safe, out of sight is the way to go. Hiding it well is your best bet. Consider placing your generator in a less obvious part of your yard, perhaps camouflaged with bushes or behind a false wall in your garage. The key is to blend it in as much as possible with its surroundings. Now, if you're thinking about storing it in a garage or shed, you're on the right track for concealment. But you've got another issue to tackle, the noise and exhaust. These are dead giveaways. You can manage this by extending the exhaust pipe so it exits discreetly and muffling the sound using soundproofing materials. Think insulation panels or a DIY soundproof box, but remember to ensure adequate ventilation to prevent overheating. And here's another tip. Run your generator at times when it's less likely to be noticed. During heavy winds or a storm, for instance, when other noises might mask its operation. Timing your usage can significantly reduce the risk of drawing unwanted attention. 4. Vehicles In a scenario where societal structures break down, urban centers can quickly become pressure cookers of panic and desperation. 
People who haven't prepared for such emergencies will likely be scrambling to escape the city as resources dwindle. This sudden scarcity can trigger a chaotic rush, with those unprepared looking for immediate ways out, leading to increased instances of theft, especially of vehicles. In such times, securing one's transportation becomes crucial. Individuals who find themselves without a vehicle, or those whose vehicles are low on fuel, may resort to stealing cars and trucks to flee the urban chaos. The logic is simple, yet stark. Mobility is survival, and in a desperate bid to find safety, the rule of law may be momentarily forgotten. To mitigate the risk of vehicle theft, a proactive approach involves keeping your vehicle in a secure location. A locked garage is ideal, but any secure and inconspicuous area could serve the purpose. The goal here is to make your vehicle a less appealing target. Thieves, often pressed for time and acting on panic, tend to go for the easiest, most accessible targets. By making your vehicle hard to access or less visible, you significantly reduce the odds of it being stolen. It's not just about locking up, it's also about being prepared. Ensuring that your vehicle is maintained, fueled, and ready to go at a moment's notice can make all the difference. Regular checks on your vehicle's functionality, such as tire pressure, oil levels, and working headlights, become part of a crucial routine. Additionally, keeping a spare can of fuel might seem like an invitation to thieves, but if stored securely and discreetly, it could provide you with a vital edge in escaping the initial waves of chaos. 5. Fuel Fuel becomes more than just a commodity. It becomes a lifeline. Imagine a scenario where within just days, gas stations are bled dry by a desperate populace, frantically trying to flee or stock up. It's a grim picture, and for those unprepared, it poses a severe risk. Most people, under normal circumstances, don't keep a stockpile of fuel, which only amplifies the urgency and desperation during a crisis. In such situations, the wisdom of storing fuel cannot be overstated. However, storing fuel isn't just about having a reserve. It's also about ensuring it's hidden and secure. Simply locking your fuel containers in a garage, or perhaps at a secondary location known as a bug-out spot, your go-to retreat in emergencies, can be effective. The key here is subtlety and security. You want to avoid drawing attention to your fuel stash from potential looters or desperate passers-by. If you're in a position to choose, opting for diesel vehicles and generators can be a strategic move. Diesel not only has a longer shelf life, but is also generally more efficient for running heavy machinery and vehicles. Diesel fuel can be stored for much longer periods compared to gasoline, which deteriorates relatively quickly. Regular gasoline can degrade within six months, while gasoline mixed with ethanol has an even shorter shelf life, spoiling within three months under typical storage conditions. For those storing gasoline, incorporating a fuel stabilizer is a savvy approach. A fuel stabilizer can significantly extend the lifespan of gasoline from one year up to three years, making it a more viable option for long-term storage. This can be particularly useful if you're looking at maintaining a ready supply of fuel for generators, vehicles, and other essential machinery. Managing your fuel reserves effectively requires not just good storage practices, but also a keen understanding of their limitations and potentials. This kind of foresight, knowing how to store fuel, how long different types of fuel last, and how to secure them, can set you apart from the chaos and give you a much needed edge in navigating the complexities of a true SHTF scenario. Six, food. The availability of food can quickly become a critical issue. Supermarkets might shutter, supply chains could snap, and the simple act of grocery shopping could become a thing of the past. In these times, having a food store is not just a convenience. It's a necessity for survival. For many, particularly those who haven't prepared, the desperation to provide for themselves and their families can drive them to extreme measures. It's a harsh reality, but in such situations, the veneer of civility can thin dramatically when hunger sets in. People might resort to theft or worse, making the security of your food supply paramount. Preppers, or those who prepare for such emergencies, typically take great care to secure their food supplies. It's common practice among them to keep the existence and location of their food stores a secret, even from close friends or extended family. This isn't just about hoarding, but ensuring safety and sustenance when the unpredictable happens. Creating a hidden room or a discreet storage area in your home can serve as a vital resource. This space should ideally be stocked with non-perishable items, 
dried foods that can last for years, canned goods that resist spoilage, sufficient water supplies, and basic essentials like medical supplies and hygiene products. The location should be cool, dry, and out of sight, perhaps behind a false wall or under a floorboard. The less obvious, the better. For those who might not have the space or the means to create a hidden room in their current living situation, alternative strategies might include utilizing a bug-out location, a predefined safe haven, possibly in a rural area where one can retreat in times of crisis. Here, food and supplies can be stored in bulk and accessed when needed. Another option is to use less obvious storage solutions within your home, such as underbeds, inside empty stereo cabinets, or behind false backs and closets. It's also crucial to maintain a rotation system for your stored food to ensure nothing goes to waste. Regularly use items nearing the end of their shelf life and replace them with fresher supplies. This not only keeps your stockpile fresh, but also familiarizes you with your inventory, which is invaluable in a crisis. 7. Livestock. Those who are prepared understand that even the most extensive pantry of stored food has its limits. The stark reality is that to sustain oneself indefinitely, one must shift from merely storing food to producing it. Raising livestock is a cornerstone of sustainable food production for many preppers. Chickens provide eggs and meat, hogs offer a substantial yield of protein, and cows can supply milk, meat, and even labor in some cases. This move towards agricultural self-sufficiency is not just practical, but a step towards resilience and independence in times of uncertainty. This approach does bring its own set of challenges, particularly when it comes to security. In an SHTF scenario, where desperation drives behavior, livestock can become a prime target for looters. These individuals driven by hunger may not hesitate to steal animals, presenting a significant risk to your self-sufficiency plans. Protecting your livestock, therefore, becomes as crucial as the decision to raise them. While it's difficult to hide a cow or a flock of chickens, there are effective strategies to safeguard them. First and foremost, Consider the location of your livestock. Keeping animals as inconspicuous as possible, away from main roads and hidden from casual view, can help. Strategic fencing, potentially with camouflage from trees or bushes, can serve to obscure and fortify the area where animals are kept. In addition to physical barriers, a robust security system is beneficial. This might include motion sensors, cameras, or even simple alarms that can alert you to any intrusion. Dogs can be invaluable in this role, serving as both deterrents and early warning systems. Ensuring that your animals are locked up at night in secure, sturdy structures is also key. Nighttime often presents the highest risk of theft. Community networks can also enhance security, aligning with nearby like-minded individuals who can help keep watch and share intelligence about potential threats can provide a layer of protection that goes beyond physical measures. Training and preparedness play a critical role as well. Regular drills on securing and potentially evacuating your animals can prepare you for worst-case scenarios. Moreover, maintaining a routine check on the health and safety of your livestock not only ensures their well-being, but also keeps you constantly aware of any potential vulnerabilities in your setup. 8. Tools. Picture this. In a long-term SHTF scenario, the grid has failed, and everyday conveniences are a thing of the past. Basic hand tools suddenly become incredibly valuable. Without reliable electricity, power tools aren't much use, so it's back to basics with hammers, saws, wrenches, and screwdrivers for building shelters, fixing machinery, or shoring up defenses. These tools don't need electricity, just good old-fashioned elbow grease, making them essential for anyone keen on self-sufficiency. Now think about the safety of these indispensable tools. It's smart to store an extra set in a secure spot, maybe where you keep your emergency food and other supplies. This hidden spot is like your personal vault, keeping your tools ready and intact so they're there when you really need them to maintain and repair essential infrastructure. As the fabric of society shows signs of strain, the push to get ready becomes more urgent. But thankfully, there's still time to prepare. Getting set up involves more than just gathering resources. It's about securing them too. As things break down, Knowing that others might be desperate enough to take what you've stockpiled is a real worry. Keeping your supplies out of sight is crucial. Maybe that means hidden compartments or even buried caches that only you know about. And since keeping these items safe could become a challenge, it's also wise to think about self-defense, whether that's setting up barriers or honing personal defense techniques. This way, 
You're not just collecting essential items, but also actively safeguarding your ability to survive and thrive no matter what happens. Thank you for watching.